Yo guys, what's up? This is Sugikan as always and patch 5.12 notes breakdown here. And today we're gonna go in depth with all the changes and I will be explaining how this will affect the meta and everything like that. Hopefully you enjoy this video. So let's without further ado, let's move on. VFX updates like blazers, psh, psh, cool shit is happening to Brand, Corgi, Galio and Nautilus. Um, I think these all are really cool changes. They will be in like more clarity, I guess. And I'm hoping to see like more changes to like champions like Israel and LeBlanc. I think their SFX are very outdated, especially Israel's Q and E. And I'm we're hoping to see and probably see a lot more changes to these. And these will bring more clarification and less bugs. And Corgi's shit looks pretty cool, guys. And <clears throat> they recorded some skill shots. And it's mostly like bug fixes and adjustments. Not need to like no need to like actually talk about them. And uh, recall is now your item shop will forcibly close now when you try to recall. So people who are shopping and trying to recall and they get attacked, they will now know what's going on. And then we got like Ash is now printing only one stack per volume or enchanted crystal. And now actual like requires actual focus, so it will take a bit more time now. It's a bit of a nerf. Brahm, you know, some damage boosts and mana cost reductions to Q. I think, you know, if you play AP, AP Brahm mid, you're gonna like this. No, that's, that thing is not a viable thing. Don't try it. It's fireball. Some people have been crying about Echo, and what they've been doing is increasing mana growth stats, base attack speed goes a bit lower, uh, but attack speed growth per level is increasing. And passive is now reduced also, and Q AP ratio lower, and ultimate now has mana cost and lower damage reduction, and this just pretty much means that um, it's a nerf. It's a nerf, guys. Nothing to see here. It's a nerf. At least was pretty kind of weak shit. Now they're doing some adjustments to um, her. So what they're doing is they're doing a change to E, increasing bonus damage from healing spider form attacks for X five seconds when you rappel to somebody or from landing. That's pretty cool. And you know, also refine test. Each of the LA's basic attack spider form heal her like X amount of damage now. And that's passive and that's pretty cool. So. You're able to now like stay much more like healthier state in jungle. You have more health and shit. Galio, oh my god, I'm gonna like I love these changes. Well not really. So Idol of Duran base damage is lower now, but the damage will increase now per hit. And max damage cap is not 80% out of 40%. So it deals much more damage now, pretty much. It's a buff. Except if you're like doing it to one target, then you will do less damage now. And Gragas, you have base health region nerfs, health region uh, per level nerfs, and um, you know, slow duration for the barrel has been also nerfed. Gragas has been a bit of a, like an annoyance, you know, and a lot of people have been. Not really annoyed, you know, enjoying the play against Kragas because it's very repulsive tank champion. Next up we have Jarvan. And cooldown on E is now lower. So that's pretty cool in my opinion because now you can able to combo much more. It doesn't drop too much, but it's pretty high on for the late game. Because I think Jarvan is kinda of like mid-game champion. I don't think he's super good in late game, that's my opinion. Some people might disagree, but this is going to like bring up the late game viability more. And random fucking buffs to Jax. Thanks fucking lot. I hate this fucking champion already enough. Lux gets shielded now immediately and cast. Interesting. And E has now higher slow radius. Pretty OP. And um, so it's because of like a buff, you know. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then we have Malphite. Now what they did something interesting here is um, 
it now scales from armor to and now it scales with AP. So you know AP, AP AP armor hybrid builds are much more better now. Not that, not that you're gonna do like shit ton damage because the base damage has been dropped a bit too. Rise is getting yeah, I I don't know what the fuck the ride is doing. Rise, Rise is totally fucking broken right now, in my opinion, and I don't understand why would they go so far to buff him out. I don't understand like that design philosophy. He's very fucking strong right now. Then we have Trundle. Trundle is getting fucking ultimate boosts. I'm happy to take them. They're pretty broken, actually. Um, like this is gonna make him more broken you know just gonna give him extra percents he will be taking everything you from your health you know it's insane um changes to true demure attack frame has been increases so it's making auto attacking pretty much easier for you for the most part zillion not much bug fix new splash art for anivia and um yeah here you go looks pretty cool New um, AP item, which is Runeclave, it will replace the um, Magus thing, and this is like a bit of like an ability. It's a pretty much like a Sheen in a fucking jungle item. It's pretty fucking useless by the looks of it. It will be good for Eve or something, but Fiddle won't be taking any use of it. Enchantment, Cinder Hulk, yeah, not much of Doctor there. Defensive Masters have been changed a bit. These can be pretty good. Uh, pressure now less than one percent. Sweat positions also its placement is different. Uh, Runic blessing was a kind of like a new plate, new bait um, mastery, and a lot of bad people were taking it. It's not a good mastery. I'm glad they've changed it out or removed it. Tenacity is just like reducing tenacity from fifteen percent to ten percent. And uh, legendary guardian is now granting three armor and three magic strength per nearby enemy champion this is pretty huge buff this is pretty huge buff guys very good buff and enchanted armor requires new two mastery points which is kind of interesting and now it's percent troll which is very very interesting it will be i guess i mean it will be 10 percent now and that will make a lot of fucking differences to the game and you're just gonna make tanks fucking stronger for for sure. I'm not sure what's the idea of this, but you know, swiftness now less and more slow resistance because there's two ranks. And we got a new mastery called adaptive armor, and this gains four of your bonus armor as a magic resistance. If you have more bonus armor than bonus magic blah 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 blah, you just get four percent either armor or armor based on the situation. Pretty good. Pretty fucking good. That's fourteen percent with the enchanted armor. It's gonna. I don't understand why they would have to like buff tanks so hard, but that's right. Base turret's no longer slow. Makes you know backdooring and everything easier now. Bug fixes. You know nobody cares. A new pool party skins are coming out among Chroma packs for Caitlyn, Darius, Jack, Morgana, Rocket Girl, Tristana, and Headhunter Master Yi. Thanks for watching this video, um, it was a pretty short patch and um, you know it's not much changes, not very trustable changes, more of the visual side of stuff. Subscribe, share and like and you know comment if you need to and see you guys on the next video.